If you are in a room with nine other people, at least one of you is likely suffering from major depression. Experts say depression isn't just a bad day or you feel sad, it's a crippling mm. brain disorder. But our Elise Coulter investigates a new kind of treatment that is, is hoping to change that, Elise. Yeah, Jack and Deborah. well, the treatment is called transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS, but don't get this confused with it's not the violent electric shock therapy from decades ago. And those who've used the treatment say it saved their life when we found one of the few places in Ohio actually offering it. Depression is something that no one is proud of. Shirley Benoit knows the pain of major depression. Depression is, is when you feel like you're at your lowest and you know that there's got to be something out there. Excuse me, that there's got to be hope somewhere. Benoit suffered from depression for more than a decade and took several medications beginning in 1996. But before that, she was proud to wear her military uniform and served our country for several years. But after, something changed for Benoit and so did her life. I think when somebody goes through depression, they, they feel like their days are just, you know, just blend in one into another. So after years of suffering, Benoit found the courage to take matters into her own hands. When you think of what life used to be as to what it is and what it could be, and that's when I knew that I had to do something. That's when she met Dr. John Hawkins at the Lindner Center of Hope in Mason. It's very exciting to be able to offer a treatment like this that has uh, this much promise. Does that feel comfortable right there? Yeah, that feels real good, thanks. Okay. The technology is in this machine and it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. It's a way to provide magnetic energy to a focused area of the brain that's thought to be involved in depression. See that? The key to the treatment is to get the magnetic energy over the part of the brain that involuntarily twitches your thumb or fingers, gives it a kickstart of sort. And relax. The magnetic energy actually causes the neurons to fire more frequently. And when we do that to that area of the brain known, known as the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, uh, we see improvement in, in depressive symptoms. It feels like somebody just taking your finger and just tapping you on the head. But does it work? It seems to be more effective than adding another medication for people who've really struggled with medications not working. The treatment takes commitment. It's a five days a week for six weeks and each treatment lasts 45 minutes. I came here every day for six weeks. It was at the end of the fourth week that I started noticing something that it just, you know, wasn't, you know, it was actually working. But TMS isn't widely used or even well known. Dr. Hawkins was the first to use the treatment in Ohio and remains one of the few to continue using it. But some doctors think that should change. Doctors need to know that there are alternatives to medications. Dr. Douglas Lehrer is an associate professor at Wright State University and lectures his residents on TMS. We need to be looking farther. We need to be looking for ways to deliver our treatment directly to the area of the brain that we believe is affected by the mental disorder. That's why Dr. Lair feels it's important to teach his residents about TMS and how it can help someone with depression. Someone like Benoit who hopes by sharing her struggle with the disorder it can inspire someone who's suffering to reach out for help. When you were at rock bottom like I was, when it hurt and you were right at the borderline of life, to give yourself that chance to live and you know you're, you don't have anything to lose and there's help now. Now there are some risks to TMS however doctors say they're minimal there is a slight chance that it could cause a seizure so those susceptible to seizures are not advised to take the treatment but the biggest challenge doctors say is getting health insurance companies to actually cover it. It costs on average $10,000 for the six weeks of treatment.